In 1888, in the impoverished districts of Whitechapel, London, an unidentified serial killer was actively murdering women. The killer, known as Jack the Ripper from a letter written to the police, is thought to have killed at least five innocent women. However, there are other potential murders in and around 1888 that are theorised to be related to the Ripper. The canonical five victims include Marianne Nichols, Annie Chapman, Elizabeth Stride, Catherine Eddowes and Mary Jane Kelly. For many years, it was believed that these women were prostitutes. However, recent research shows that this may not have necessarily been the case, as prejudices against women at the time could have influenced this narrative. I have left a link to Halle Rubenhold's podcast and book if you'd like to find out more about this, as she explains it better than I could. And this video is also not about that topic. Chief Inspector Abilene was the lead ground investigator during the winter of 1888, who arrested and interviewed multiple suspects. The wooden walking stick, depicting a face of a mysterious hooded older man, is believed to have been a gift from his team of seven after he was pulled off the case after failing to find the killer. The cane was previously stored in police college in Bramshill, Hampshire, however went missing when the institution was shot in 2015. Police rediscovered this morbid composite hidden in archives at Wrighton on Dunsmore, Warwickshire in 2022. It has been labelled as the only reported facial composite and the etching is thought to be a reconstruction of Dr. Alexandra Pedachenko, one of Chief Inspector Abilene's prime suspects. However, this has also been disputed by others who claim that this cane had been sold by street merchants seeking to make money off the mysterious coal case. In the 1923 memoir by William Lecukes, Things I Know About Kings, Celebrities and Crooks, he wrote that he had read a manuscript in French that was written by Rasputin which claimed that Jack the Ripper was an insane Russian doctor called Alexandra Pedachenko, who was a secret agent of the Soviet police used to discredit Scotland Yard. He was also allegedly accompanied by two accomplices. However, there is no concrete evidence that this version of Alexandra Pedachenko ever existed in the first place, and many details of the story that William Lecukes recounted don't hold up when further researched. Furthermore, a source named in the manuscript was a journalist named Nidorost, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, who was allegedly notorious for sensationalizing and fabricating stories. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. As always, I am not an expert in any of the topics I cover, and I'm just presenting you with the information that I find. My opinion on this etching is that, since we don't know who Jack the Ripper was or what he looked like, I don't see how this etching could have any similarity to what the actual culprit would have looked like in real life, and I think this is probably mostly based off of imagination, but that's just my opinion. As for the culprit and who I think Jack the Ripper actually was, I have my own hunch, but I'll probably speak about that in a future video. But more importantly than that, I think it's important to remember that these murders affected real life families and real life people at the time. I think sometimes it's important to take a step back and to be respectful to the victims and what happened. I think telling their story is important, but I think there's a right way to do it. As mentioned in the video, the podcast Bad Women is a really good one, and I think that Hallie Rubenhold does a really good job of retelling the stories of the victims. So I've left a link to that in the description. Anyway, if you'd like to see more videos like this, then leave me a comment and let me know what you'd like to see next.